good morning i am presenting here my seminar topic that is decolorization and degradation of textile dyes with reference to azo dyes by using isolated bacteria and designing of consortium so nowadays there is a different types of pollutions amongst this environmental pollution of waste water by release by different types of industries among this waste water the major issue nowadays that is the waste water generated from the textile industry it causes the major threats to the environment as well as a large amount of different types of chemicals like dyes are used by these textile industries so these dyes are very hazardous effect and it causes the Uh, mutation in the cells and it leads to the uh, cancer so to remove this uh, dyes from the waste water or uh, water stream there are different types of techniques like physical method uh, chemical methods these are the some methods for the removal of these dyes from the waste water but all these physical and chemical methods are very expensive and it le- it produces the large amount of sludge which creates the secondary level of land pollution as well as different types of pollutions so these uh, methods are not feasible for the removal of these dyes so during dyeing process there are uh, not 100% use these dyes but amongst that 10 to 15% dyes are lost in the effluent during the dyeing process that's why we are uh, focusing on this problem to overcome these problems so my idea regarding this problem is the uh, bioremediation of this waste water by using microorganisms because this method is uh, cost effective than the physical and chemical method as well as more advantage of this method is the eco friendly method for our health so we are focusing on the sh- Uh, as well as another factor is the time duration but by, by using this microorganism we are focusing on the short duration for the bioremediation process so for this purpose we set some working uh, principle for this bioremediation first is the collection of textile effluent samples and soil sample from the textile industrial area then from this samples we can screen out the microorganism which is efficient or which is able to uh, degrade or uh, decolorize these dyes then amongst this uh, bacteria or microorganisms we can select the particular isolates or bacterial uh, strains and we can identify it there by using sequencing then we can select the particular efficient strain for this decolorization and degradation process then we can make the consortium for the textile dye decolorization and degradation study then after that we can optimize the particular condition for this uh, uh, bacterial isolates as well as microbial consortium for better decolorization and degradation then after that process we can assess the toxicity of these dyes and after bioremediation the toxicity of metaboloids then we can study the dye decolorization by using cell immobilization process as well then lastly we can focusing on the degradation mechanism how these bacteria degrade these dyes and what will be the outcome of this degradation process so at last we are uh, our targeted outcomes will be the to isolate the potential azo dye decolorizing and degrading microorganisms and as well as the major focus of our work will be the designing of consortium for efficient and rapid dye removal so the present work will lead to development of eco friendly dye decolorizing technique by using potential isolates so this is our aim of the research work So thank you very much